Anybody have questions? Talk about LSU. Um, you know, the tapes that I'm watching, and the, you know, they, they went two league games. They're ahead of us in the schedule or in the uh, standings, and uh, Trent's done a good job. You know, they do. They run good stuff. Their guards are playing well. they got some size. And we got a challenge. Um, they played this old man last year. Um, first two games, they played all zone, so I don't know if they'll play as man or zone. You know, I really don't have an idea, but, uh, you know, they're good. They're good. John, I know it hasn't been going on a long time, but are you seeing some improvements in the guys that you're working with extra, at least in practice? It's Maybe too early. Game. It's too early yet. And uh, uh, I've got to spend a little more time than I am. I've had, you know, I'm hitting you guys every time before practice, it seems, for some reason. But um, I need to spend more time with these guys. But they're, you know, slowly but surely. And we've just got to stay on it. I mean, stuff doesn't change. If it takes you two years of habits to go down the road, within a week it's not changing. But when you start down that road in a month, you know, it's like Eloy. Eloy reverted in the last game to his habits of catching the ball and then stepping, and it gets blocked. And we're working on, as the ball's coming to you, step and catch it and get it in the ball court. It's just too, he's got a habit that's ingrained. He can't get a shot in the basket right now. Because every time he catches, it'll be step back, step, you know, it's, and we're working on it. But, you know, we changed some free throws. Some guys are doing well. Other guys aren't doing so well. So. Are you more frustrated, disappointed, neither? No, it's, you know, we just hope that one of these guys or two of them step up to help us. We're playing six guys right now. I'd like to be able to know that, you know, like I watched our tape last year. You have to understand, Ramon shot 12% from the three-point line, couldn't make a free throw. But I could leave him in the game because he would defend and rebound. Could not make a shot or a free throw. But he would go in and defend and rebound a little bit. Uh, Perry Stevenson, yeah, he finished a little bit, but he would defend and rebound and try most games. <laughs> <and everything. laughs> but we could go to them, and, and we weren't going to drop off the face of the earth. Right now, we're just there's that drop, and we gotta we got to close that gap between those six and those other three guys. Is that tough for guys that in high school were scorers, and uh, I, I would think, think of themselves as scorers? Well, everybody, every player does. They all think of themselves as point guards and scorers. So I have 11 point guards on this team that I've screwed up and put in different positions. <laughs> And uh, if someone else shoots the ball, I should be shooting. We had guys fighting for a ball to get a shot off last game. And, you know, we, we, uh, the, the issue for us right now is the commitment to, to winning. Commit to winning. It's not if you score or how much you're playing. We're committed to winning. There's five minutes in a close game. What do we have to do to win? We have to execute on both ends, play a little bit tougher, play guys before they catch the ball, and we're bouncing and talking and scrambling to win. We're not there right now. And especially if someone's played a good game, he's truly not there. So we're, we've got a ways to go. We're just going to keep talking about it, showing it on tape, and keep demanding it. But Coach. It takes time. Uh, John Hood said he's avoided the uh, treadmill so far. Does that just speak volumes to how hard he's working with you? He's trying. He's trying. He's just he's, he's got a – one of them, he's got a little bit of buzzard luck. Everybody shoots a ball and makes it. So he walks in the game, they take one dribble, shoot it right on him, and it goes in every single time. And it could be a guy that hadn't made a shot. He's just got buzzard luck sometimes. Um, but, you know, he's trying, but he's, he's still – and it's hard to get in there and unleash yourself when you're afraid of making a mistake. But my thing is, defensively, if you're alert and play people before they catch it and the shot goes up, block out and rebound, it's an effort mistake. If you're making effort mistakes, you don't deserve to be on the floor. Um, but it's, you know, we got to get these guys more comfortable. The guys are trying to get them shots. You see it. You know, Stacy had a layup, but he was going to show this roundhouse dunk, so he fumbled the ball. <laughs> why wouldn't you just catch it and get, because you don't understand my game. I do, that's why I'm not playing you much. I mean, <laughs> you got to make easy plays. I mean, you just, you know, why would you try that? I mean, it's, you know, and, and they're not bad kids. They just, this is, you know, when you're dealing with all young players, this is what you deal with. And so it's, you know, I told them I haven't enjoyed the last two games coaching either game. You know, I've watched myself. We played awful down at LSU last year.
but we tried. We John, John, the two guards, John Wall and, and Eric, were awful in that game. I don't know if you remember. They were awful. And uh, DeAndre went in and made a couple shots, did some good things, but you know we didn't. We got we overpowered them inside, but you know they they played good defense against us. They got the ball where they wanted. They missed some open shots, but. Coach Fox, John, sort of echoed uh, Coach Patino in saying he thinks you guys are